Oh. How you doing? How you doing? Mm, mm, how you doing? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Deliberate Millionaire Stream. I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister and Business Coach for ambitious spiritual people determined to thrive, to prosper, to make at least six figures whilst living in their purpose. We look at the internal work. We help you leave behind the pain, the limiting beliefs of the, of the past so that you can, in fact, rise victorious in your true design life, a free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love, drenched love, because it is your divine right, okay? It is your divine right if you claim it, if you claim it. Now, one of the one reason why sometimes ambitious spiritual people, particularly if you are in any way in this community and you're, you're drawn into the work that I do. A lot of us grew up well before our time. A lot of us became adults well before you were ready to be a grown ass adult. You had to start taking care of people well before you were ready to. You're, you didn't really have much of a childhood or you didn't have much of a teenagehood you were very, very quickly thrust into, into adult responsibilities way too soon. Now that could be to do with dysfunctional family issues or maybe there was illness in your family or whatever. But whichever way you ended up taking responsibility for things that you didn't have the, the wisdom yet, but though you had to learn very, very quickly to take responsibility for things that were beyond you. And the other side of it is that you were not taking care of yourself, okay? So your needs, your emotional needs were not really met. You had to start meeting other people's emotional needs. And in some ways you learned to shut down your emotions. The problem with that, the problem with that is that now you are looking to live in your purpose, <laughs> uncovering your purpose. I was even speaking to somebody earlier today. One of the reasons why people cannot figure out what their purpose is, is because it's very attached to your emotions. It's very attached to your feelings. It's very attached to your energy in some ways and emotions ultimately are just energy yeah and if you have shut down because you had to as a result of being uh, having to grow up a lot sooner than you wanted to or than you should have then you will struggle to figure out what it is that you like you'll struggle to figure out what your purpose is you will feel unclear about it you'll feel confused about it and so here i am shouting about the fact that you can make six figures whilst doing what you love doing living in your purpose and all of that stuff but you don't know what that is and so what you end up doing and if it's anything like the person i spoke to earlier today is that you end up trying different things so trying a bit of this when somebody tells you that he's going to make you money and you're thinking i just want to make some money which yeah you know what money is essential for a good life yeah um, and so you start doing all kinds of different things, trying little things, trying this, trying that, trying the other, but never quite committing to anything because one, you choose things based on, based on nothing more than I just want a little bit of extra money, which doesn't work. Okay. Because it takes energy to build an extra, a little bit of extra money. Okay. And if you're trying to force yourself to do things that you do not want to do, which you've been doing your whole life, not even before. <laughs> Even before you started trying to make yourself do things that you don't want to do, people were already making you do things that you didn't really want to do, but felt that you had to do. So you're continuing the emotional neglect that was done to you as a child. Is it any wonder that now your life isn't exactly where you want it to be? You might be in your 50s, 60s, 40s, whatever, and you're not living the life that you thought you'd be living by now. But the truth of the matter is that you don't even really know what that life is. It just, you just know that it's not this one you're living right now. And so you're searching, you're wanting, it's something else, it's something different. And you're a hard worker. It's not that you're not a hard worker. You're somebody that will try and you'll put yourself out there as much as possible, kinda, kinda. But you're hiding, but you don't know you're hiding. I hope you're hearing me. You're hiding, but you don't know you're hiding because you don't even know really completely how you feel. You have vague ideas of the fact that, yeah, you're walking around with this low level sadness all the time. You haven't really taken the time to really take care of you because you're so busy taking care of everyone else. Okay. Unfortunately, emotional neglect, neglect, even when you're neglecting yourself, it is not always obvious that you're doing it. Because especially if you've always lived this way, I know for ages, thankfully, I, I thankfully, because I'm, yeah, thankfully the divine found me for the 
that you know what in my late 20s early 30s whatever i started to realize that i i had shut down my emotions one because i was brought up in a a, a very you know in, in a third world country most of my youth was in a third world country it's almost like you don't have time to worry about your emotions you just need to you need to survive <laughs> okay thankfully i'm not going to say i was the worst off but i do know that i had learned that you just need to just survive you don't you can't be worrying about what you feel or don't feel or whatever that was the way that's what the way i felt and even when i came to the, the uk first and i joined a church where they were very much about healing your emotions and all of this stuff i couldn't get it i just felt like this is just you white people disease basically <laughs> ultimately you guys have too much time on your hands that's why you're worrying about your emotions <laughs> if you knew the life that we had to live over in the third world then honey, you wouldn't worry about your emotions except i know now that that's not true but a lot of you live that way to this day even if you were brought up in the us or the uk or whatever you've learned to shut down your emotions because you didn't have time nobody nobody taught you how to take care of your emotions nobody taught you that you were important there was a certain expectation on you from a very young age and it has caused you to shut down your emotions so now you don't know really what you want you are a people pleaser though you may not admit it ever okay you're a people pleaser you keep putting everybody else's needs above your own even when it drains you okay and again, this will be a result of the fact that you've always been expected to do that. That was what was considered to be a good person. You even, you even learned that the divine wanted this from you. You might have gone to religious organizations where they, you were trained and programmed to believe that you're supposed to sacrifice yourself for every single other person out there. You don't realize that it's just people pleasing and codependency. You overgive financially. Some of y'all, no matter what money comes into your life, you, there's somebody that you need to give it to. There's somebody you need to help. So whatever money comes in, you somehow lose it very, very quickly. You never seem to have enough. Even though you, your salary goes up, your expenses seem to go up faster. And the people you need to help seem to increase as well. You're always overgiving financially. You're constantly tired. You're constantly tired. Okay, because you're constantly taking care of other people without recharging your own energy. So you, for some of y'all, you even have the chronic fatigue syndrome because it's the only way for you to slow down. And there is resentment, there is burnout within you, but you still do not pay attention to yourself. You're still neglecting your own emotions. You do feel unworthy of receiving stuff. You still have a voice in the back of your head telling you not to relax, not to rest. You're not, it's not ready. Enough. You can't rest yet. There's always things to do, always people to help. There's always something, something, something that you need to be doing. This is all, these are all signs that you're in this whole caretaker kind of role. Especially when it's, 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 it's like there's a driving force inside of you. You have to be given it. You have to be given it. You have to be given. It's like people who jump on the phone with me sometimes and all about how you really, they really want to help people. And, and sometimes, yes, sometimes, yes. But for the most part, most people that tell me that, it is literally because they don't know any other way to live. You have to be needed. The only way you feel worthy is if people need you. Wake up. You feel guilty when you say no. You still feel the resentment and the frustration of, you know, giving and giving and giving and not really ever getting anything back. You keep doing it anyway. You keep doing it. And then when it comes to doing things that are just for you, you sabotage them and you, you, or you feel guilty about doing it or you feel greedy for paying attention to yourself. This is all signs that you are, you want, well, it comes from, one of the things that causes this is simply the fact that you grew up well before your time and nobody really ever helped you understand you. Nobody ever helped you see that it was important that you understand you. And in fact, sometimes even when you listen to me, people like me saying this kind of stuff, there's a part of you that still thinks it's self-indulgent to do this. But then you go into your life and you feel that dissatisfaction, you feel that emptiness, you feel that, and you keep trying to drown it out with all kinds of crazy stuff, but you know you feel unfulfilled. You know that you're nowhere near where you feel you could be. But until you start paying attention to you, how are you ever going to get there? The divine does not need your sacrifices. 
the divine does not need you to give up yourself completely in order to fulfill everybody else's issues or agendas for you or for themselves, frankly, because you just keep giving. You, you, you think it's selfish to pay attention to you. But I just, come on, really pay attention to, the, the, why would you, why would the divine have created you as you are just so that you would sacrifice all that you are in order to be some, some other thing, in order to be everything to everybody else? Really think about what you're thinking about. Think about what you're feeling. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to pay attention to you. Do you know why you are here, really? Do you actually know your purpose? Do you feel very clear about what your purpose actually is? Really? Are you doing anything to get clear about what you're here for? Is it just, let me just be functional. Let me just get through. Let me just make enough money to survive. Do you just want to survive? Do you want to get to the end of your life knowing that you never really fully accomplished all that you were capable of? You never even got to know all that you're capable of. I mean, you, you start these online businesses and you start all, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you want to be in business. You know you want to make six figures doing what you love. But what do you love? What do you love? You keep chasing after oh, what you think will be some kind of quick fix. Is it any, has any of it ever worked, really? <laughs> but yet you keep doing it over. I was saying this to this person today. You keep repeating the same pattern, but I've got to keep trying. Yeah, I get it. It's good, good, it's good that you're, you persevere in figuring things out. But come on, we can't keep doing the exact same stuff and thinking that somehow if I just, what, if I just keep... If I just keep chasing after money, then somehow it will, uh, finally it will all just come together. No, it won't. It won't. It hasn't done. It's not going to. You've already done the chasing after money. You got yourself into a job that you, or career or whatever that you don't even really like. And now you're going to go and do it again? Are you kidding me? It's time to come back home to you. It's time to come back home to you. Figuring out who you are. You can't keep trying to save every single person. You're not supposed to be the savior of the world, okay? Caretaking is not actually love. It is you trying to get your needs met through other people. Except they are not in the position to help you need, get your needs met. You, they give you a, 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 a quick sense of being needed, and so then you think you're worthy for a little bit, but it doesn't last, does it? It, it, it? You start to feel resentful. You start to feel fed up, but you keep pushing it down, keep pushing it down. It's time to stop doing this to yourself. It was done to you at first, but now you are continuing to do it. You need to start paying attention to your inner child. You need to start paying attention to you. Yes, 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 yes. There's practical things that need to be done. <laughs> but you don't even know what, you don't know what you're trying, you don't know what your real goals are. So whatever practical stuff you're doing right now, it isn't taking you to your real goals. It's taking you to more of a life of dissatisfaction and unfulfillment and financial restriction because that's all you have in your head. You haven't taken the time to figure out who you are, what you really actually want. It doesn't need to take very long. It is about just giving yourself permission to really say, this is what I want and I'm going to do what it takes to bring it to life. You haven't given yourself the time to do that. You're so busy in everybody else's noise, drama and nonsense that you are not paying attention to you. It is time to reparent yourself, for real. Because you weren't parented appropriately originally. It's time to reparent yourself. To give yourself the emotional support and care that you did not receive as a child. It's time to nurture your inner child, to meet your own needs, to practice self-compassion. Really. It's time to start putting boundaries in place. So that you have the time to figure yourself out. All the difference you would like to make on this planet, you will make more of a difference when you know who you are and you show up in the world as you. We say this 
a lot of times, but I'll keep saying it in as many different ways as possible, hoping that you will hear me and start paying attention. You need to give and receive, okay? Just giving, 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 it leaves, it's just out of balance. It's out of balance. You need to know how to receive as well. Whether it's getting help, receiving help, receiving support from others, asking for help, asking for support. If you don't know how to figure out your purpose and what you're here about, then have a session with me. Have one of those remove the block sessions with me. The link is around here or it's, it's in my bio. You know, have one of those sessions. Let's clarify who you are. Let's pay attention to you for a change. Come on, how many, how many more years have to go by before you pay attention to you and really, really, truly allow you to come alive? There is no mistake about you being on the planet at this time. I say this all the time, but I don't think you get it, my love. You keep chasing after what you think you should be chasing after instead of figuring out, what do I actually freaking want? And how can I monetize what I want to do? Rather than, how can I be everything to everyone out there? And then hopefully, you know, because if I'm nice enough, then, then maybe I'll be blessed. Maybe the divine will bless me finally. The divine did not ask you for your sacrifice. Okay? The divine did not ask you to, to forget yourself. No, I'm sorry, but no, I don't care what your religion may have taught you. The divine did not make you, you, in order for you to lose you. <laughs> Basically, wake up, wake up. What is your vision for your own life? Because your true vision is your permission. What is your vision for your own life? Do you know? Have you taken the time to really take care of you? What happened in your childhood? What happened in your teenagehood? It no longer needs to keep happening. You do not need to be the caretaker for everyone. You do not need to ignore your own needs in order to take care of every single person out there. It is time for you to start paying attention to yourself. It is time for you to recognize that you're going to make more of a difference on this planet by you being you, by you figuring out who you are and what you're about and what you have to offer the world for real. You are worthy of your own affection and your own attention. So wake the heck up and start paying attention to yourself. Start caring for yourself. Start listening to yourself. Now, this is not, I, guess, I understand that you can hear this and think that it's some kind of self-indulgent nonsense. No, I'm not saying sit there and the navel gazing for the rest of your life. Because, yeah, yeah, we can go to some other extreme. But you know what? Sometimes you need to go to the extreme in order to find the balance. Okay? You've, found, you've gone to this other extreme where you're, just, you're ignoring yourself completely, telling yourself that that's what makes you a good person. Maybe you need to, you know, indulge yourself completely for a season so that you can find the in-between ground. Come on. You are important. Your desires are important. What you have to offer the world is needed. It is safe for you to live your own life. Stop taking, stop caretaking everybody else and start caretaking yourself. Start taking care of yourself. Allow the divine to love you. Allow the divine to love you. Take some time to lean into the divine. Come into evolution. Come into evolution. Come and hear daily from the divine. Allow the divine to love you. Allow the divine to love you. Receive the love of the divine so that you can then overflow love rather than trying to drag love out of your or your very limited supply because you have been doing this, loving people from your very limited self forever. You're drained. You're drained. You've been worn down by life only because you keep allowing it to happen. Come back home to you. Come back home to you. Allow the divine to love you. You are worthy of your own affection and your own attention. Be self-indulgent for, for a season. Be self-indulgent for a season, my love. It's time for you to come back home to you. Okay? Are you ready? Listen. I've given you a few things that you can do here. Come into the Deliberate Millionaire um, um, pathway. I can help you. 
come back home to you. No, no magic button here. But if you come and work with me, you will come alive again. You will come alive again. You think what you, you when you're rushing around trying to do this and do that and do the other and try this new 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 idea and try that new idea. Oh, they, they said that it would be making me money. I'll do this. Da, da, da. Has any of it worked? No. And the time keeps passing anyway. How many years have gone by with you? Try this, try that, try the other. And quit this, quit this, quit the other. Help this person, help that person, help this person, help the other. And still unfulfilled and financially restricted. Why not follow a structured path of healing, of, of strategy as well? Because yes, as I say, we're human beings having a divine, or divine beings having a human experience. There is need for strategy for sure. But I can't, you can't, you, you can't apply strategy when you don't even have a goal, a real goal, your true purpose. You don't know what that is. And so all this work and walk, work, you know, working yourself into the ground, trying to be everything to everybody thing that you're doing, it's not getting you anywhere because you don't know where you're trying to get to. You have vague ideas. Because you've shut yourself down. It's time to come back home to you. It's time to wake yourself up again. So that when you put strategy in place, it is because you have a clear goal, a clear something that you're working towards. This is my purpose. This is what I'm bringing to life. Rather than vague ideas of, I think this will make me money. That person said, if I try this, it'll make me money. Oh, that person said, if I try that, it'll make me money. Oh, this person needs me. Oh, that person needs me. Oh, this person needs me. Oh, I don't have time to think about myself. I just need it. Come on. Come on. You are worthy of your own attention and your own affection, honey. If you're just coming in, I would suggest strongly that you listen to it from the start. It's time. You became an adult before you were meant to be one. And you, since then, been chasing after solving everybody else's problems. It's time to come back home to yourself. It is you that is needed in the world. There's no mistake about you being on the planet at this time, but you need to start doing life as you. The only way you're going to do that is you repair it yourself. You come back home to you. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Until the next time, my loves, I really strongly invite you to have a 90-minute deep dive, remove the blocks session with me. Let's get clear on what your purpose is. Let's put a strategy in place to bring it to life, to get you making at least six figures whilst living in your purpose. It is possible for you, but you have to pay attention to you in order for that to happen. I can help you, but you need to be willing to be helped, okay? <laughs> okay then. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Go forth and prosper. If you wanna find out more about working with me, send me the word consult, and I will get, we can have a quick 10, 10 minute, 15 minute chat about what's going on with you and what I suggest will support you in moving forward fast. Until then, much amazing love, go forth and prosper. You are so welcome, <laughs> walking with purpose. Until the next time, bye.